In a survival situation, making primitive clothes can be a challenging task, but it's possible to create functional garments using available resources. Here are some steps to help you make primitive clothes. Assess available materials. Look for natural materials in your surroundings that can be used to create clothing. This may include animal hides, bark, plant fibers, or large leaves. Choose materials that are durable, flexible, and suitable for the climate you're in. Process animal hides, optional. If you have access to animal hides, you'll need to process them to make them suitable for clothing. This involves removing excess fat, flesh, and hair from the hide. You can scrape the hide using a sharp-edged stone or a knife, or you can use the brain tanning method if you're familiar with it. This process can be time-consuming and requires some skill. Design and measure. Decide on the type of clothing you need and plan its design. Measure your body or use existing clothing as a reference for the dimensions. Keep in mind factors like comfort, mobility, and protection from the elements. Cut and shape the fabric. Use a sharp tool like a knife or sharp-edged stone to cut the fabric according to your measurements and design. Make sure to leave additional material for seams and adjustments. Sewing and joining. Primitive sewing methods involve using natural materials for thread or cordage and a needle-like object such as a bone, thorn, or small piece of wood. You can pierce holes in the fabric and stitch the pieces together using the natural thread. Alternatively, you can use knotting techniques or lacing to join the fabric pieces. Tailor and adjust. As you assemble the clothing, periodically try it on and make any necessary adjustments for fit and comfort. This step is important to ensure that the garment fits properly and allows for ease of movement. Finishing touches. Once the main pieces are sewn together, consider adding functional elements such as closures, buttons, ties, or toggles, or pockets using additional pieces of fabric or natural materials. Insulation and layering, if needed. If you're in a cold climate, consider adding insulation to your clothing. This can be achieved by layering additional natural materials like leaves, grass, or animal fur between the fabric layers. Keep in mind that making primitive clothing requires time, patience, and resourcefulness. It's advisable to practice these skills in non-emergency situations to gain experience and improve your techniques. Additionally, depending on the environment and the availability of resources, it may be more practical to focus on creating garments that provide basic coverage and protection rather than intricate designs.